Alright guys, welcome back to the Alpha of Destiny on PS4. Alright, we're heading towards our ship. That's the next objective. See how big and beautiful our ship is. <laughs> the tower hangar, okay. So the tower is the um, central city at the, for the moment, it looks like. Alright, where's our ship? Is that it up there, the green marker? How are we getting up there? Okay, some stairs here. This guy's having a little dance. Yeah, he's having a good time. He's enjoying the Alpha. Okay, is this... who's this? Amanda Holiday, the shipwright. Okay, hello. Repairs complete, your ship, ship is ready to fly. What is this? So there's the Arcadia glass, class jump ship. Save us by the tower shipyard. This jump ship is, is in much better shape than when it arrived. And that's my that's my little um, vehicle I can move around on or when I'm in, on actual land. Okay, so I'm just accepting these. This yeah, just adding them back to my inventory. Okay, and this is a vendor. Requires a crap load of glimmer. 2,250, I've only got 358. And it's also level 8. So these are higher class, um, like ground mounts, it looks like. And these are ships. Maybe the ship battles or something, because why else would you need a better ship if you're just move, using it to get from like area to area? The stock refreshes in 15 hours. Okay. And we don't need that just now. Thank you. It's nice to know we can maybe p upgrade later on, though. Okay, do we need to get on our ship now, then? There's another Vanguard Quartermaster. Okay. Go to orbit. When you are finished in the tower, press the touchpad. And hold triangle to go to orbit. Let's go to orbit then. <laughs> yes. I expect you to fight, brother. Okay, so we're setting destination. We're in orbit right now. But where's the next objective? The Crucible. Hone your skills and win glory in battle against other guardians. That sounds like a hey, PvP. Of a guard, because I'm a guardian. That's what a player is. Like it's a guardian. So the only other option is the tower, which is where we already are, and Earth. I think we've got to head back to Earth for a mission. Hasn't really told us what we're doing though. Old Russia, level four, explore. Okay, so these are like missions we can go on. That's like co-op fire team, one to three players. That one's also co-op. One to three players. Yeah. One to three players. Investigate the report of a hidden power trapped in the Cosmodrome array station. So these are just missions I can do. Level four, level six, level three. That's a story mission. Let's progress with the story then. Brave. What's that? Change. Her. Uh, set challenge. That's it. So that's like easy, and then it's hard. It reduces your gear. <laughs> that upgrades your gear. Let's just keep it on the simple stuff for the moment, because before we understand what's going on. All right. So we've set the destination. Let's launch to the dark within. We hope we haven't already done this mission. It's not the mission we started on, is it? I'm ready if you are. I think this might be what we already just did at the start of the game. Okay, so it turns out that mission that we just chose was the first mission we did in part one. So I think maybe we should choose something else. But you'd think because that's a story, you know, it's kind of like story missions will progress on their own. Let's do a level four mission then, explore. Right. This time we go wherever we want. Nothing holding us back. Guardians have been planting beacons here to connect back to the tower. If we find them, we can help the city. I'm already detecting a few. Okay, so it's dropped me in the exact same map. Missions available. Use nav mode to locate beacons and receive missions from the tower. Yeah, so this this um, 
like Earth, Old Russia. It's like just one map. And I think there's just different missions within the same like area that you have to choose before you enter. So there's a beacon here, let's see what this is. So we can get a mission from the beacon. The enemies here are making scouting impossible. A dead orbit will pay for their elimination. Push out enemies from the areas surrounding the Cosmodrome. Okay, so the mission is just to kill a bunch of enemies. This is the new pulse rifle I just purchased as well. It's um, there is there's a guy there. It's burst shot, burst fire. So it's not bad. Just better damage. So we're looking for enemies to kill. That's all we're doing at the moment. I'm not too sure how much of this um, game they're going to show in the alpha. Which is just a li literally small section of the game, the first mission and a bit of the central city. You know, because it is, it is alpha, you, can't, you haven't really got anything set in place yet for what could come out in the end game. Let's get off this so we can kill enemies. Some enemies over there as well. Let's kill these ones first. Let's throw a grenade at them. I think I missed with that. you got to get them right on them. It's not even like... It hasn't got a big range on it, big radius on the actual damage it deals. Oh, I think the 50, the um, thing on the right is 52. That's the uh, experience I've gained, and the 6 is Glimmer, which is the currency that you use in this game. Alright, so there's enemies over here as well. Let's finish this mission and see what we actually get for the reward afterwards. Because the leveling in this seems a bit strange as well, because we started off at level 3, I think. So we didn't even start the start of the game properly, it's kind of because it's alpha, they just put blocked us in like the middle of the game. Just for us to figure out what's going on, test the game, see it well, it's run the run okay. As well as they expected. What now? Okay, so we've killed them, that's that mission complete. Let me just kill this guy before we look for the next mission. Okay, so this mission's available. There's one over there. So it looks like this explore mode is literally just... You can just go in this zone and do little side missions just to get ex extra experience and glimmer, like kind of like a grind. The cryptarchs need a little research so you can get help, guardians. Your ghosts can decrypt this message. Yeah, so you can get more experience in like the currency you need, like maybe even pick up some gear. If you're not um, well equipped yet just for what's next in the story. So it's just the grinding aspect of the game. Because it's not fully open world, you kind of have to teleport to an area, and then you have missions in that area. And I suppose once you finish them, that's when um, you have you can reset and choose another mission again. See, these enemies are only level two as well. Let's try and throw this grenade over there. There we go. Got it in range that time. It's doing some nice damage. Sensors scanned. Okay, so we've got to scan sensors. Gotta kill these guys first though. Let's see what this is. Ooh. That's like, whoa! I just killed them guys. Like a force push, like Fosho Dar. <laughs> Battle shout. That's L1 and R1 ability for the Warlock. Okay, there's one more guy. Hello. So if we open the thing again, we should show us where the scanners are. There's a scanner up there. Let's go check that out. So once we've done a few of these missions, I think we'll drop out of the explore mode and then we'll check out what other missions we've got available and then um, you know in this zone because you know, this is the only zone that seems to be open for us at the moment it's not really because it's alpha we're not really expected to be able to progress through the game and you know get an idea of the story it's just kind of like check out what what's available and what the options are in the game all right where we where's the scan thing right, gotta come here is that gonna change now and show us where yeah we're going over there now There's no enemies in here, which is strange. Probably gonna get a face full of them in a second. I think in the bottom left as well, if you look, see like the, the square marker? That's my L1 ability where I throw the grenade, and I think the bar that's filling up might be that pulse um, attack where I shoot forward and just like disintegrate enemies in front of me, I think it says. Alright, there's some enemies here. Start off with a grenade. Okay. First fight is not bad in this gun. It's 
pretty accurate. Can we shoot that and blow that up? No. Okay. So got a small few left. Fallen Shark, these enemies. Shank, sorry. And a Fallen Dreg. So these are the Fallen. There's different types of enemies. Right, where are we heading next? Through that doorway. I think this outfit only lasts for a few days. Maybe Sunday, I think it ends. And today is um, Friday. So it's only on for like about three days. It only came out yesterday, I think. Am I going the right way? It's telling me to go back over there. Do you actually have to step in the marker for it to show you where to go next? You can't just go past it. Oh. Where am I going? Is it this? Scan the environment. Okay, so there's sensors that I have to scan. And I've completed that now. Okay, scan complete. Okay. I hope there's an exit on this side. Otherwise, it's a long walk back to get back outside. Unable to summon. Oh, it's a vehicle. Okay, so is there going to be another mission available in this explore section? Right, there's a bunch of enemies over there. Right, it's 50 meters that way. To the left. We might have to kill these guys. We, we can. Oh, look, we can do that thing where we glide. Double press X. Forgot all about that. I wonder if we can sneak past just to pick the mission up. I start getting shot after to fight them. Oh, hello. Hi, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have to kill these guys. Let's get the mission while we're doing it. Such interesting things beyond the city. Please send a few back. Thank you. Okay, so that, yeah, that yellow bar is filled up in the bottom left now, so that's my supercharge. Where I can press L1 and R1 at the same time and cast a, um, an ability. So I need to collect the wire wraps for the objective. Let's quickly just check that. Kill scavenging fallen and search their bodies for precious sapphire wire. Right, so I think we'll just do one this last mission now in explore mode. I'll maybe quit out and see what else is available in um, in this um, Earth map. You know, when you, before you travel to it, you can choose which mission you want to do. I'm currently doing explore. Well, now the snipers are in this game. They do. They must do massive damage. It's like similar to what? Oh, loot. Looks like a chest. What did I collect? Glimmer. 108 glimmer. It looks like we're getting quite a lot of glimmer. Alright, have a let's do a pulse thing. Whoa! Yeah, you felt like a grenade. Like a big game um, bomb. It wrecks them. Let's jump up here. They dropped any stuff that we need? I think we had to kill scavengers, it said. So they have to be specific mobs, probably. He's a fallen dreg. There, something else. Oh, fan balls, maybe. He just dropped one. Wow. Oh. Event incoming optional. Destroy fallen walker. Walker? That sounds big. Is that. Oh! What the hell's going on? I said, like, an explosion, and my screen just shook. Have we gotta kill this? What? Um, let's just step back a bit and see what's going on. on. We might have a problem. Hello. Is this the walker? So it says optional. I don't think I've got a cho choice, you know, if it's going to start trying to attack me. Whoa, there's people dropping off from it. That's the walker it's dropped off, isn't it? And it's also shooting me. That's good. That's cool. Is that, is that the walker? Or is that... Whoa. Whoa. That's the devil walker. Okay. Hello. Okay, let's move on to a bit more cover. Jeez. Take out enemies one at a time. Before we get overwhelmed. Right, we've got our grenade thing that we can throw. It looks like, oh, hello. That's the walker. It looks like he's just one shot me. I can respawn. And have I just respawned right next to it? I think I have. It's the devil walker. Has he got a lot of health? He's got a lot of firepower. Okay, we've got five minutes to kill this. There's a timer on the left. What the hell? Oh god, this doesn't look good. I could deal with that explosive shot I could I can right now. I need to deal a big little damage to it. I'm doing like 5 damage per shot. Look at his health, it's hardly moved. 
If we get, no, if these stop spawning once you killed a few, that'd be good. But I've got a feeling that they're gonna keep spawning. It's got a lot of health, hasn't it? This noble pit shank. I'm not sure if the walker's actually moving. Even though it's called a walker, he'd, you'd expect it to walk. <laughs> Crap. Oh, hello. What the hell's doing damage? Whoa. Okay, let's get behind cover. My health is flashing red. Du -du -du. It's cool. Crouch, crouch, crouch. There it is. Oh. Looks like he's dropping reinforcements that ship in the air as well. Jeez. This is crazy. No wonder this is one to three players. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time doing this on my own. Okay, let's throw this grenade, alright? Maybe once the timer goes, it um, disappears. Which could be a good thing. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. They've got a lot of health. For something that's like, I think, lower level than me. I think I'm like level 5 or something. There's a lot of things to pick up anyway. I think we can complete the, the objective, objective that we picked up. Ow. Do I have to. Just, I can just walk over them to pick them up. These air drones are the ones that are getting me. Whoa. They do so much damage. <laughs> Crap. It didn't give me the option though to play with other, other players. You know, maybe you have to party up before you actually head out. You know, party up on your ship. Oh god, he just fired a massive cannon at me. Right, let's just make sure we don't get shot. What is that? Let's see what this is. Is this like an upgrade or something? Maybe. Oh, what's that doing? Is it healing me? Maybe. I have no idea how that it does better damage actually. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what that blue beam is. What is that? Does it tell me what it is if I look at it? I think it might be healing me. Maybe it's powering up my um my main boost ability if I stand on it. If I stand on it, is anything changing? Doesn't really look like it's not healing me for sure because I'm losing health. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Whoa, hello. Shit, I'm gonna die. I need to make a move for it. Why did he drop this big massive <laughs> tank on me for no reason? I didn't ask for this. I'm supercharged. So maybe try the supercharge on the on um, the walker. We've only got two minutes left to kill it. These guys are getting on my nerves. Drop a grenade there. Shit. Okay. Let's run around here and try and throw this big beam attack at the walker. Hopefully we try and kill it. I don't think we're going to take much damage off it, to be honest. Right, let's try this. Ugh. It's done like 600 damage, I think, but it didn't even take much of its health. No chance of we killing this. No chance. At all. It's definitely a co-op thing. Let's just wait for them to despawn and then we can um, just collect the objective and get out of here. Almost done. Keep it up. Oh. Almost done. What's up once the timer fit empties? Is that mission complete? <laughs> Maybe something comes and kills it for me. After a minute. Or is he talking about the actual objective for the wire? <laughs> probably the one where I'm picking stuff up. That's probably what he's talking about. <laughs> Let's reload. I think we killed a few with the um, air support stuff. Okay, let's set some health. Whoa. I think I've thrown that a bit too far, haven't I? Whoa. Okay, 15 seconds. Hope he um, pisses off now. Because I even took a quarter off his health, maybe like a tenth, hardly anything. Really hate those things. Events complete. It's not complete though, is it? Because I didn't kill it. Where's it gone? Maybe it just took off. I wouldn't say I completed it. I'd probably just say I survived it. Right, there's a, free, a bunch of things to pick up. Let's finish this mission. 
should maybe need a few more, not many. Once we pick these up, 71%. Right, just one more to pick up. Yeah, so we're going to have to kill a few more enemies. 86%. Is it going to show me on the map anywhere where these enemies are going to be? Doesn't look like. Looks like we've got to explore and find them myself. Which sucks a little bit. There's tanks here. Wish we could have used one of them. <laughs> Might have had a chance then. Okay, so maybe like one more. Hopefully this guy drops one. No, he doesn't. You seem to get like four glimmer per kill as well, so... If you can grind out the kills, you can probably, um... There's a bunch of enemies. You can probably get the currency you need to purchase the upgrades that you, that you want. And not a uh, reasonable pace. Alright, we've got all the objectives. That's all we need. Good work. I think we just leveled up as well. Upgrade unlocked. Alright, so I think I'm gonna move on now to like try something else maybe. Because this explore stuff it looks like mainly it's used to grind. You know, it's not progressing in the game. Although I'm not too sure if there's gonna be much progression in the alpha. So um let's quit this. There's missions available. I'm just gonna check out the upgrades before we I'm not sure if the game pauses when I pause, so I'm going to have to try and maybe find a spot where I'm not getting attacked to look at this new upgrade. And once we've done that, we'll end it there, and um, this guy's invisible. He's dead as well. Yeah, once you've looked at this new upgrade, we'll move on to the, um, the next part and look at the next um, mission that was available on this planet. Okay. So we've got an upgrade for this. Triangle to upgrade. Okay, so we've unlocked this energy drain, I think. A powerful melee attack which drains energy from enemies and uses it to reduce. Didn't it say it unlocked? Oh! It upgraded Void Walker. Is this Void? What the hell am I looking at? Let's just get this, because it's available. <laughs> Alright, so this is progressing next. Did we get any actual gear from drops just then? No. No. I don't think so. What's this? Warlock Bond? What the hell does that do? A Warlock's Bond is both a symbol and a focus of power. Your ghost jury rigged this simple example. A Warlock's Bond signifies control over the Traveller's Light. What control mean means is a matter of debate. So that's class armour. And I don't think that different to each other for the moment. Because it's so early in the game. Alright guys, I'm going to end this part here, um, and then next one we'll do look at the the other mission that was available for this planet, before we actually zone into it. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later, bye.